Well, hey, fellow YouTubers, it's Kat at Anita Beauty Homestead, and today we're not cooking. <laughs> we are going to be dehydrating some uh, butternut squash. A friend of mine gave this to me probably over a month ago. These things just last forever, right? So he gave me two of them. Um, I'm trying to help my dogs not get a COVID waistline, if you know what I mean. So I am going to blanch. I'm going to slice these up quarter inch thick, maybe a little thicker. And then I am going to blanch them and then get them on the dehydrator. Okay, got some dinner rolls getting ready to go in the oven. So pardon me if there's unexpected noises and timers going off. All right, so um, I've peeled one. I'm going to peel the other one in a moment. But let's get this one all sliced up and start heating up our water for blanching. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut off this end, and we'll cut off this end. I'm just trying to decide how this will be easier handled. I'm just cutting it down the middle so I can get the seeds out. I am going to be using my mandolin, which makes me nervous. I've taken a fingertip or two off with this dang thing. Okay. Like that. It's actually kind of pretty. Spider webby. All right, uh, let me get this cleaned out somehow. But yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not horribly worried about this being perfect because, you know, I don't think the dogs will care necessarily. Will you care? I've already got an audience in here wondering what I'm up to. No, nope. oh, back up. Oof. Okay. So let's start with this one and see how we do. Okay. My mandolin. That's a pretty good, pretty good slice, right? Okay. Oh, Lord, have mercy, this makes me nervous. But it was slow and much harder to do. Let me get this other half sliced up, get this other one peeled and sliced up, and I'll bring uh, what, what I was doing. So I'm, as you can see, I use, I'm using a small pot um, just so I can do these in small batches. Ouch. Okay. And I am going to dehydrate, dehydrate these on 135 for I don't know how long. So they're crispy. They're pretty crispy. Let's see here. I'm going to let these blanch for about a minute. Then they're going to go straight onto um, straight onto um, oh my goodness dehydrated tray. Duh. Sure if this is the right way to do these this is my way to do it 
Uh, I do this when I do sweet potato. Um, I still let it stay crispy, but I let it cook for just a second. I don't necessarily want to feed my dogs raw. Raw, raw. <laughs> Extremely raw squash of any kind or yam. One thing I do on here that I do do completely raw is fish and chicken and beef. Um, and that's because the temperature that it uh, dehydrates at and the length of time it, it does cook it. So um, there we go. All right, so that's probably good enough. So I'll go straight over to the dehydrator tray, which I will show you in a moment. But I'm trying to have finger tips at the end of this. in here. Okay, and let's bring you over here. All right, so right on to the tray, as I said, and I got a towel under here because these are still draining. Whew. And they're hot. Okay, maybe, maybe it might be time to use like a fork. Okay. Now I'm using the um, plastic mesh only because in case these decide to um, stick the plastic mesh um, is easier. Now what I'm doing with these is I'm putting them over on some other trays. Right here. But I gotta move quickly or else uh, the other ones will blanch for too long. Okay, that's probably good. So what I'm gonna do so I don't keep getting these wetter and wetter and wetter these over to the side, put this one here, and go get more. Okay, so I will bring you back when these are all, the trays are all loaded, and um, I'm going to start the dehydrator, and I'll let you know how many trays I got out of those two uh, butternut squash. Um, I did want to say that it's okay uh, if these are touching. Yeah, here they go. Bet you guys missed that. Um, it's okay if they're touching. You just don't want them overlapping, okay? Um, and you don't want them so tightly packed that the air from the dehydrator can't circulate around them, okay? So that's one thing I probably I felt like I needed to add, just in case you're new to um, dehydrating. Okay, so there you go, tray number two. All right, I'll bring you back when these are done. All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five trays. All packed about the same, so I'll make a good amount of snacks. distance on that top layer. Again, it's just another thing I do. Not always, just sometimes. See how it goes. Okay, so this is set on 135. Let's get it plugged in. All right, and it is now uh, 150 in the afternoon, and we'll um, just let this go, see how it turns out. All right, see you guys back when they're all finished. All right, 
right, it is the next morning, uh, 8.15, and these are done. They went all night, or since whatever time it was, I told you yesterday. And here it goes. I got my official taste testers here. Okay, they're still a little warm, but they're as they're cooling, they're getting to the point where they're going to be crunchy. All right, come here, boys. Come on, sit. Okay, you want to be my official taste testers? Tell me what you think. Okay, wait, be good. Ah, ah, ah. Gentle. He doesn't like it. What do you think? Oh, tail wagging good? Yeah? Those are approved? Yeah? Luca, what do you think? Luca, stop looking for more. <clears throat> Luca. Oh my goodness, he's gone down. Luca! Hey, what do you think? Oh, yeah. Tell he would like because he's looking for more. All right. Thank you, Dozer. All right. Remember, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more, give me a thumbs up. Whoops. Sorry about that. Thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel and share because sharing is caring. Those look yummy. They're so pretty. So pretty. Yeah. All right. All right. See you next time. Bye. Okay, just wanted to show you it all jarred up. So that's what uh, two butternut squash got me. They were probably, you know, medium sized, I guess. Average. <laughs> all right, there you go. See you next time. All right, I just wanted to show you, um, I was editing the video for the butternut squash that I did for the dogs. So this is the food that I make them, uh, their topper. But this is a piece of the butternut squash that's been rehydrated. Um, so you saw the fruit, the dehydrated one. Actually, let me go get another piece and I'll show you. Okay, so this is a dehydrated piece. Still crispy. Um, that's all I've got left. Let's get some more. And anyway, so this is um, hydrated. Still firm, but look how much it plumps up, right? I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, see? Yeah, I got my audience here like, hey, Mom, you took out our food bowl. Does that mean we're getting fed again? So, um, and these are all dehydrated vegetables. I did frozen vegetables. I dehydrate them. And this is them uh, reconstituted, redone. And some of my home dehydrated black beans. So, all right, there you go. All right, thanks. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you. Well, welcome back, pals and friends. Oh, no, that's terrible. Ugh.